Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am super excited about today's video because I'm going to show you how you could use um, eRank combined with Facebook Ad Library to do some market research if you're a new Etsy seller, to spy on your competitors' Facebook ads and Instagram ads. And if you're thinking of possibly running a Facebook ad, you could kind of see what your competitors' ad copy looks like and what they're using to be successful that maybe you could get inspired to apply for your own ad copy. So if you want to learn how to spy on your competitors and see what exactly they're doing, make sure that you watch all the way to the end. Now, if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel and you want to learn how to grow an impactful Etsy business, don't forget to subscribe today. I do upload weekly videos to help you build an impactful online business. Don't forget also to show me some love by liking this video and also let me know by the end of the video if you have heard of these two tools combined together. If you have used it before, leave a comment below. So let's go ahead and dive in. So today I'm going to be using eRank and Facebook Ad Library. I will leave the link to the Facebook Ad Library below so you guys can find it easier in the comment section. Now. This is a great tool, what I'm about to show you, is a great tool to use whenever either you are a new XC seller and you're thinking of opening your first or second shop and you don't really know what's trending or what's working, what's selling. You're able to come in here and kind of look at other stores and get inspired. And I'm not saying copy them. What I'm saying is getting inspired to create something better than their store, right? And you could look in here and see what's trending, what's working, and then it will give you some inspiration on how to get started at least. And you're able also to see what type of Facebook ads or Instagram ads they're currently running, especially if you want to start running some ads yourself as well. And you're able to see this from top trending stores, right? I highly recommend looking at stores that are successful versus looking at stores that are getting the same sales as yourself. So the first thing that you could do is you will go to eRank, you could sign up for eRank for free, um, or you could pay the pro version like myself for $10 a month. You would need an Etsy store first in order to use eRank. So just keep that in mind. And all you do is if you go to competitor, you're able to see the top sellers by country, by category, and by year open, which is really, really cool. Because let's say I wanted to see what is the top stores, and I'm in the wedding niche, so I'm just going to click wedding on weddings. And I wanted to see what is the top store. So the top store in the wedding niche is Mod Party, right? They have so far 534,000 sales. Um, now, let's say I wanted to see the top store in wedding this particular year, right? So I could click on weddings again. And now this is going to give me, oops, let me pick up weddings up here. Pick the year and search. So I'm filtering it for weddings in 2019. So now this is going to do a new search for me. It's going to filter the stores that started this year and which one is the top sale. So this is the top sale in the wedding niche of 2019. There are They are located in the U.S. and they have had 33,000 in sales. That's really, really good. So if I wanted to see what else, like find out more information, all I have to do is click on their shop name. And this little window is going to pop up. It's going to give me like the top highlights of the store. So the total sales of the year, their average sales per day is 113. Their feedback is 100%, so they have really good reviews. How they rank nationally, the category, obviously weddings. Sales today, 33 sales, which is pretty good. Um, the age of the store, they haven't even been open a whole year, and they sell handmade items. And this is like kind of like a um, the most recent listings that they have uploaded. And if I, if I wanted to see more, right, let's say I wanted to see more of this particular store. All I have to do pretty much is either I could copy this here, but I think there's an easier way. Let's see. Let me refresh it. Oh, it's right here. So I could go here. I could open tab and it's going to open their actual store. And now I'm able to see what exactly they're doing. I could look at their brand. I could look at the branding colors. I could look at their aesthetics, their photo style, just to kind of get a vibe right of the store. What are they doing different than other stores? And they're crushing it, right? So I'm able to see they got 48 sales in total. 
I mean, 48 listings in total. And this is one of, this is a great example of a store that doesn't have a thousand listings and got more sales than stores that have a thousand listings, including my stores. That's incredible. 48 sales, I mean, 48 listings, and they have 33,000 sales in 2019. These are all the cake toppers that they sell. They're beautiful. And then you could come down here as well. And if, if they had, they don't have it at the current moment, if they're using social media, or maybe they are, but they want to keep it away from other people, right? Competitors seeing their social media, you're able to come down here and check out their Instagram, um, their website, if they have it connected or their Facebook page or other, other links to other social media platforms. Currently, the store doesn't advertise their social media. It could be Maybe they don't have any, right? Or it could be that they're doing it for let's keep it tight in XC so no one copies us. It really depends on, on them. I really don't know that answer. But they're doing really, really well. So this is really great for competitive research, especially when you're opening a new store, to kind of get an idea of what's working, what's trending, what's selling, what people like. You could see their best sellers. You could kind of browse through their pricing to learn more about pricing and kind of see their aesthetic and everything else. So for competitive research, this is really, really great. Now, the next thing you want to do, let's say I wanted to just study, um, I'm going to go back to the main page, competitors, top sellers. Let's say I wanted to just research weddings, right? What's working in the wedding niche? I could click on wedding. From here, it's going to give me the top stores in the wedding niche on Etsy. So Mod Party is one of my favorite stores. I talked about the store recently before because it always happened to be the top store when I'm doing research or when I'm doing a video. So it's not my first time talking about Mod Party if you heard me before. And they sell a lot of wedding accessories for weddings. And as you can see, um, they have had a total of 534,000 sales, which is incredible. They get about an average um, of, or they make an average of $235 um, per day. Their feedback is amazing. They are in the category of wedding. Today, they had 382 sales, which is incredible. Um, they've been in Etsy for six, two point years, and they're handmade. Now, when you're doing competitive research, like I said earlier, you want to look at stores that have been open in one to two years. You don't want to compare yourself or start researching a store that's been open, you know, longer than four years because it could be now that they're dying off and back then they made a lot of sales or they're established already. So you want to see what's trending now or what's working now versus trying to compete with a store that's been open for six years that already have a large following that already has established themselves. You're better off comparing or you're better off doing competitive market on a newer store because that would give you more valid numbers. So just keep that in mind. So from here, let's say I wanted to see what type of ads are they running on their Facebook campaign, right? The first thing you could do is you could take their store name as Mod Party and you could go to the ad library Facebook and you could type in Mod Party. So they are on Facebook, so this is here. Now keep in mind, sometimes the stores name doesn't match their XC name. So if you run into that issue, all you have to do is if you click here, you open their actual XC store. So this is their XC store, which is beautiful. And you go down to the social media section, which is the one that we showed earlier, but that other store, they didn't have it. They have their profile here, you see? So if you go down here and you click on Facebook, you could copy the name right here. This is the name that they have, but they have... They're done their branding correctly. They have their name store and their Facebook name the same. And that's branding 101 is making sure that your name is uniform all across all your social media platforms. So they've done a really good job on that. So from here, you're able to see when they created their store so or when they created their Facebook page. They did it um, two years after they established their store because they opened in 2013 but they opened their Facebook page 2015. So they haven't had it since the beginning. And as you can see, you can see all the type of ads that they are either currently running, which they say it says active up here, or that they have run prior before. So if you go down, uh, most likely you're able to see. So right now it, it seems like every campaign is active. They have quite a few actually. Uh, on the 4th of December, they started running one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. So they have 10 campaigns running, which is crazy. But this is going to give you a lot of information. So they have Instagram. These are these look like they're Instagram accounts. Okay, yeah. So they have Instagram ads. And what you could do is you could go right here and you could see seed ad details. So you could click on it and you're able to see the ad copy. This is the ad copy. They have their call to action link to shop in bio. So they're telling the customer the link is in the bio in Instagram because on Instagram, you're not able to see, you're not able to put a link in the actual caption. And then when people click down here, um, oh, well, this is to visit their Instagram profile, which we're not trying to do right now. And then you're able to see what other ads are running. So this is the same ad. Okay, perfect. So you could go back and look at the other different ads that they have. And you're able to see how they're running this ad. Let's say you wanted to see more on this ad or how many people engage with it. What you could do is click on visit Instagram and hopefully it will take us to the ad. It doesn't take us to the actual ad, but you could do two things essentially. You could kind of go through them and find the ad. This is the ad that we just looked at, which is this one here. And you could see like uh, their caption. You could see their call to action here. You could see all their hashtags if you wanted to copy some. You could see their audience here, what people liked, right? These are the people that liked their, their ad. What you could also do as a competitor is that you could steal your competitor's followers. And this is a really, really thing. It's a really big thing. I do this on my own accounts. What you could do is you could go back to, you could go on your Instagram. You could go to through these people's profile and you could like their profile, leave a genuine comment. Don't just leave any comment, leave like a genuine comment and start start driving these people that are in the same niche, right? These, this, their competitors, you, you'll take the competitors, sorry. You'll take their competitors' followers that already like the same items that are in your same niche, right? Because you're in the wedding niche as well. And hopefully some of these will start following you. This is a quick way to kind of steal your competitors' traffic and gain followers that are already showing interest in products that are similar to yours. So this is a quick way. This is something that a lot of people do, strategies that people do. I'm not saying you have to do it every single day because you have to um, monitor and be careful that you don't spam too much because um, Instagram will block you right away. So just do it moderately, you know, maybe once every other day. But this is a quick way to kind of see what they're doing and what's working. And you could kind of look through the ads and see what kind of ads are they they're doing? How much um how much interaction did they get? Engagement and then the ads that did the top ones by you looking at them on Instagram, those are the ones that you will focus on your own account and you will recreate it, but obviously with your own products and services. One thing that you have to keep in mind also for all of this to work is all about branding. If you go to their main page, this is the same banner that they have on their Facebook. They have their logo, it's the same logo that they have also on their Facebook, it's the same variation of it. And it's the same font, see, it's the same font. So you have to keep that in mind, branding is everything. If you want to be successful, branding is everything. They also have the same aesthetic in their Instagram and their pictures are very similar to what they have in their store, if not exactly the same. So keep that in mind. It's all about branding. It's all about colors, having the same aesthetic, having the same style. That will make you successful and grow when you sell on Etsy or any business that you grow. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be Etsy. It could be your own website where you sell your products. It could be a different type of market that you're in. But every, but every business, no matter who, where you are, either e-commerce or just in person, Branding is really important and they, they have done a really terrific job doing so. But this is a cool um, tool that you can start using to spy on your competitors. You're able to see um, what platforms are they running Facebook ads. They're not running Facebook ads. So they do majority of Instagram. Um, so this is really neat. You're able to see if are they running like if they were doing Facebook ads, you're able to see are they doing carousel ads. Are they doing just regular traffic ads? Um, are they doing both Instagram and Facebook, right? It just depends. But you're able to come in here, play with this. You're able to see what type of networks that they're using. 
Um, so it's really, really neat how you could see all this information and use it for your advantage, especially when you're doing market research or you're looking at your competitors. So I hope this tool will help you. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about marketing or the tool or branding or anything else that comes in mind while watching this video. And I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And thank you guys for watching. Have a terrific day.